The diagram is made of three circles, each of radius 4 cm. The center of the circles are A, B, and C, such that A, B, C is a straight line. Find the total area of the two shaded regions. Give your answer in terms of pi. So we have three circles here. The center of the first circle is A, the center of the middle circle is B, and lastly, the center of the third circle is C. And from the problem, A, B, C is a straight line. So let's draw our straight line. And we have to find the area of this shaded region. But before we begin, if you are new here, please consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. Let's draw another radius from point A to the circumference of circle A. So we have this point. Then we can draw another radius from point B, which is the center of the middle circle, to the circumference of the circle. From the problem, the radii are the same. So it means that this triangle is an equilateral triangle with size 4. And we can do the exact same thing here. Let's draw another radius from point B, which is the center of the middle circle, to the circumference. So we have a straight line here. Then considering this circle, we can draw a radius from this point to the circumference of the circle, which is this point. We can also do the same thing here. And then the same thing here. And lastly, we can draw another radius from the center of circle 3 to the circumference. Then we can draw another straight line, which is the radius of circle 2. Now you see that we have four equilateral triangles of size 4. Since the triangle is an equilateral triangle, it means that the angle here is 60 degrees. Right. Now let's pay attention to the middle circle. So it means that these ones are not important anymore. So this is the whole circle. Now this circle is equal to area of the equilateral triangle. We have four of them. So I'm going to multiply it by four. Then plus area of the shaded region. We have two of them, this one and this. So I'm going to multiply this one by two. Then plus area of the circular segment. We have eight of them. One is here. This part. This one, this one, this, this one, and lastly, this part. So you see that we have eight of them. So I'm going to multiply this one by eight. Now we know that area of a circle is given by pi r squared. Then the area of a collateral triangle is equal to square root of three divided by four times s squared, where s is the size of the equilateral triangle, then plus, now this is what we are looking for, we don't know, so let's represent it by m, then plus, now let's pay attention to this circular segment. If we consider this sector over here, I mean this sector, we see that the sector is made up of the shaded region and then the circular segment. So if we make the circular segment the subject, we have area of the circular segment is equal to area of the sector minus area of the equilateral triangle. We know that area of a sector is given by theta over 360 degrees times pi r squared. Then minus area of a equilateral triangle is given by square root of 3 divided by 4 times s squared. We have theta to be 60 because we are dealing with equilateral triangle. From here, we know that theta is E. Since this side is also 60 degrees, this angle here is also 60 degrees, right? So we have theta to be 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi times r is 4, so it's going to be 16. Then minus square root of 3 divided by 4 times x the size of the equilateral triangle is 4, so this is also going to be 16. Now let's go ahead and then simplify this. 60 goes into 60 one time and then goes into 360 six times. 1 times 16 is 16, so we have 16 divided by 6 times pi minus 
4 goes into 4 one time and then goes into 16 four times. So you're going to have 4 times square root of 3. Now let's simplify this further. 2 goes into 6 three times and then goes into 16 eight times. So we're going to have the area of the circular segment to be 8 pi over 3 minus 4 root 3. So this is the area of the circular segment. So in place of this, we're going to put 8 over 3 pi minus 4 root 3. So this means that the area of this equilateral triangle is equal to 4 root 3. Right, so let's proceed from here. Area of the circle is pi r square. We know r to be 4, so it's going to be 16 pi is equal to... The area of the equilateral triangle is what we find here, which is 4 root 3. But we have four of them, so it's going to be 16 root 3. Then plus what we are looking for, we represented it by m. So we have m. We have the area of the circular segment, which is this whole thing. But we see that we have eight of them. So let's multiply everything by eight. We have eight times 8 pi over 3 minus 4 root 3. If we simplify this, we have 16 pi is equal to 16 root 3 plus m plus 8 times 8 is 64. So we have 64 pi over 3 minus 8 times 4 is 32. So we have 32 root 3. Now first, let's group like terms. We have 16 pi minus 64 pi over 3. Plus, we are moving this one to the left hand side, so we have 32 root 3 minus this root n, which is 16 root 3, and this is equal to n. Now let's take pi out. We have pi times, we are left with 16 minus 64 divided by 3, then plus 32 root 3 minus 16 root 3, that is 16 root 3 and this is equal to m. Now if we simplify this we have the LCM here is 3 so we're going to have 48 minus 64 then plus 16 root 3 and this is equal to m. So we have 48 minus 64 is negative 16 then divided by 3 times pi then plus 16 root 3 and this is equal to m. So this implies that m is equal to 16 root 3 minus 16 pi over 3. So we have m is equal to LCM is 3. 32 times 16 we have 48 root 3 minus 16 pi. So this is our final answer, which is approximately 10.958 centimeters squared. So the area is equal to this. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video.